If you know anything about the gaming sphere, it's no secret that Nintendo is one of the most difficult companies when it comes to all of gaming. In comparison to companies like Naughty Dog or Ubisoft or Activision or Blizzard, Nintendo definitely has one of the worst relationships with its consumer. If it's not constantly shutting down grassroots scene like the Smash Bros scene or constantly being extremely litigious when it comes to fan creations, i.e. the infamous Etika situation, Nintendo has to be one of the most aggravating companies to be a fan of. But Nintendo has a stranglehold on the industry. They are the family-friendly brand. If your mother doesn't know the name of your gaming console, she's going to call it a Nintendo. Your 80-year-old grandmother probably knows who Mario is. They have survived being a console generation or two behind their market competitors in Sony and Microsoft solely based on their first party titles. But that doesn't stop them from as a company being absolutely dog shit when it comes to how they provide a product to their audience. There are two instances I want to take a look at. One prompted by the upcoming release of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and two is just something that has weighed on my mind for a very long time. Let's start with the second one. Nintendo rarely lowers the price of their video games. And when I say rarely, I mean rarely. I don't think they ever lower the price of their first party games. Let's take a look at one example. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was nominated for 2017 Game Awards Game of the Year Award. It is a fantastic game. Game. It is a great product, but it came out in March of 2017. If we go to one of the most common brick and mortar retailers for games, the GameStop website, and take a look at the purchase page for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we see two available prices for it one for a brand new copy and one for a pre owned copy. The brand new copy of Breath of the Wild is still selling for $59.99. 99 US dollars. Mind you, this is a game that came out over five years ago, half a decade ago, and it is still selling full price. Now, I imagine you're thinking, well, what about a pre-owned copy? Since at GameStop, you can get a used copy of their games. The pre-owned copy of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is selling for $54.99. So, if you've waited these past five years for a bit of a discount on this game, congratulations, you just got $5 off. A lot of people excuse these practices in the gaming industry by saying that games are so expansive now that they have to cost more, that these prices are absolutely justified. And I can understand that for certain things, but let's look at a comparison. Let's look at the games that were nominated for the game of the year at the game awards for the following year. Six games were nominated. Marvel Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, Monster Hunter World, God of War, Celeste, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let's take a look at the top three highest rated games on that list. Marvel Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, and God of War. These games came out the next year. You can buy all three of those games for $18.99 each pre-owned on the GameStop website. So adding up the pre-owned Legend of Zelda versus three of the nominees for the following year's Game Awards Game of the Year category, it costs $56.97. So if you have two extra dollars, you'd be better off buying those three games instead of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And people justify this practice from Nintendo for what fucking reason is the price still?
still that high. Breath of the Wild by itself is not better than those three games. It might not even be better than two of those games alone. It's an absurd practice and it needs to stop, but it will never stop because this is Nintendo and Nintendo doesn't give a fuck about you or your friends or your family or your loved ones. They just want to rip the money out of your pocket. Moving to the first practice that prompted this video that really, really bothered me. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel to Breath of the Wild is going to be releasing shortly and Nintendo announced a limited edition Nintendo Switch OLED console for that sequel. I initially was very excited because it looked beautiful and I'm a collector. I like to collect these things. But then when I was looking at the pre-order, I noticed something strange. The fucking game isn't included with the bundle. You are paying full price for a brand new console designed after the release of this game and the fucking game doesn't come with it. So that led me down a rabbit hole. I started to look for more Nintendo limited edition console releases to see if it was a one-time instance or if they had done it multiple times in the past. And what do you know? Every single time they did a limited edition console, they did not sell the game with it. On all of the listings, right Right at the bottom, it said, game not included. This is an industry practice that absolutely boggles the mind because it is unique to Nintendo. Again, Microsoft and Sony have both released limited edition special versions of their consoles and all of them have come with the game. The Gears of War Xbox One X came with a copy of the game, digital download available, the Halo Infinite. Xbox Series X came with a digital download of the game. The Spider-Man PS4 came with a copy of the game. All of these limited edition consoles came with the game. Even the CyberScam 2077 limited edition Xbox One came with a console of the game. And that release was fraught with all sorts of controversy. But Nintendo somehow puts on the market a brand new console, not a skin for your console, not a Joy-Con for your console, not just some little buttons that you can put on your backpack, a full priced console and they just say fuck you you don't get the game with it that is insane that is beyond insane how much can you hate the people who buy your products for you to be so flippant with violent disregard for them that you don't offer the game with the console. So if you still have faith in Nintendo as a company, I suggest you reevaluate that faith. I'm not saying you need to not purchase their products. They do release excellent products. I will continue to purchase a lot of their products in the future. I just know there's certain things they're never going to get my money for. And those things are limited edition consoles, but I'll still buy their games. So mm, one out of two ain't bad. 50%. We'll take that. Thanks for watching. Behave yourself.